So E3 is still going with Capcom's presentation today. They don't usually have a press conference, but they did today, and, uh, well, let's get into it. But before you do that, you know what to do. Should like this video, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell, and leave a comment, or I'll jump scare you. So, Capcom, it was announced beforehand that they were going to show Resident Evil Village, Monster Hunter Rise, Monster Hunter Stories 2, and The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. And they showed those games, all right. They did. What else did they show? Well, let's get into it. So it starts off with Resident Evil Village, them sort of talking about the game, and yeah, it's been selling crazy. But we got an announcement that Ariverse, the multiplayer that came with Resident Evil Village, will be dropping next month. I don't know if I will really be too interested in Ariverse. I'm gonna play it because I got it for free. And it's installed on my PS4 and everything. I just haven't been able to play it because it's not live yet. But should be interesting. And then it was announced that we are gonna get DLC for Resident Evil Village. I don't really know what that could be necessarily. I don't know, maybe like a mission or like a, you, you know, you get to see the perspective of some of the villains like Heisenberg or Lady Domitresque, so that could be interesting, but it's not going to happen for a while. We're like, they just said they are starting development just now on, uh, on Resident Evil Village DLC. So, yeah. And then they showed Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin, which I think looks fine. They barely show gameplay here. They show gameplay in their own little Monster Hunter presentations, but not here. Which is weird. Like, this is where most people are watching, and they don't show it, which they should. The game comes out in a month, and I don't get why they don't just show it. The game looks fine. It has a cool anime aesthetic to it, but I don't know if I'll play it. It has a demo that comes out very soon, though, so maybe that can be my deciding factor. But yeah, I don't have a whole lot to say about it. There are gonna be. There is gonna be an update on uh, for. Monster Hunter Rise, a game that's been out for a while, and this these updates we already know about them. They they were in like the like they, they give Monster Hunter their own little like Nintendo Directs or whatever. So yeah, it's cool. Like the stuff that they announced, th this update is cool, but like it doesn't need to be here really. Then they showed a lot of the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, which looks good. I don't know if I'll play it. I played an Ace Attorney game. I don't remember which one. But I remember being a, I, I remember it being pretty cool. And they showed like a little cutscene, which was cool. They showed gameplay, which it doesn't really have the most like exciting gameplay. It's basically just a interactive novel. So it didn't really put the mood very well in this. But yeah, we have, we saw the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. And then we see eSports. Look, I got nothing against eSports. Hell, sometimes I, I, uh, I don't mind eSports. I think eSports is pretty cool. But why is this here? Like, no one tuned in for eSports. Nobody tuned in for eSports. People tune in to see new games revealed. New games revealed. We didn't get any new games revealed yet, but the presentation is about to end. Surely though, surely they got like, we have one more game to show you and it's a new Mega Man game or a new Resident Evil game or a new Street Fighter game. Hell, it doesn't even have to be that big, just something, just something. But it was nothing. They did not need to even have this press conference. This press conference felt like a waste of time, honestly. I already have Resident Evil Village, I'm interested in the DLC. I already have Monster Hunter Rise, I'm interested in the updates. I don't know if I'll get Monster Hunter Stories 2, and I don't know if I'll get the Greater Ace Attorney Chronicles, but they they look interesting. They, why they show esports so much? I don't get that. Three of these games could have been in Nintendo's Direct tomorrow. Three of them. The two Monster Hunter games, and... The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles could have both could have all been in Nintendo's showcase, and then I don't know where they could have dropped the Resident Evil. They could have like tweeted that information out. Capcom, they don't usually have a press conference, so I don't know. They didn't need this one. 
And I know it was a little bit uh, too high of expectations to expect a new Mega Man game or Marvel vs. Capcom. I saw a lot of uh, chat comments saying Marvel vs. Capcom. That was a little too high of expectations, but I find it very hard to believe that Capcom are not working on anything new that they haven't shown us. They, they have absolutely nothing to show us. Nothing new to show us. I find that very hard to believe. And that this conference led you to believe that. And I don't think that's true. So yeah, that was Capcom's E3. It was rather disappointing. I was totally... I, I, it was boring and it was disappointing and uh, let me down. Nintendo, do not disappoint, please. Anyways, I give Capcom's presentation a 2.5 out of 10. Anyways, that was my uh, review of Capcom's E3 2021 press conference. So what did you guys think? Did you guys see it? Did you not see it? I don't know. Let me know down below. Were you disappointed like me? I don't know. Anyways, be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell, and leave a comment, or I'll jump scare you. See you guys.